hope my Vina loves is Miss Vina D and you're watching Vina Team and Filter. So I am severely behind. I still have Grammy's content that I did not post yet. I still have the Super Bowl videos that I did not post yet. All of the fashion shows she's been going to that I did not post yet. But Taylor was on Instagram Live, so I'm going to post two separate videos of her Instagram Live for my people who are not on social media, who I promised to bring these videos to. Please watch these videos because it's going to take me a little bit of time to get all of the other clips that I have from the Super Bowl, the Grammys, the fashion shows, and all of those little bits and pieces that I've been recording. It's going to take me a few hours to put all of that together and make a beautiful and cohesive video okay so while you wait for me to drop those videos i haven't even posted their trip when they went to honduras their mission trip so yes your girl is all the way behind i did post them at the grammys looking stunning i did get that video up and running but i'll be back with the back-to-back -back content thank you all for your patience your girl been busy okay so it was just fabulous I mean, it was so breathtaking. It was amazing. Beth Van Hardison was in the building. Um, I was sitting next to Tisha Adams, and we got to chit chat and have some fun. Uh, so we finally got to link up and say hi. And it was just like this beautiful brand that told the story of blackness in America. It was amazing. I, I just, I loved the pieces. The models were amazing. They were all black models and it was it felt so empowering to be there and after that i came back to my hotel very quickly changed and i went to the bagley mishka show where i had a front row seat <laughs> like what <laughs> it's crazy like i'm sitting front row at a massive designer and i first of all there are many sequin suits and one i love a suit <laughs> I love a suit and two the sequins were just like giving me life there was this amazing sequin short set so like there were shorts and then the blazer was all oh and it was like this it was like a peacock blue color kind of like my Miss USA gown if you guys know how it goes so it was I need to have it I need to have it right now and then I didn't even I don't know why I didn't realize I was considered VIP <laughs> but the publicist for the team walked over and they go, okay, all our VIPs, as soon as the show ends, I'm gonna grab you and then we're gonna go backstage. And I'm like, who are the VIPs? That's not me. <laughs> and as soon as the show ended, she came right over. She goes, you, you're coming with me. I was like, what? <laughs> so sometimes I just forget like, oh yeah. it's. I think because the fashion world is so hard to kind of break into, I forget that I can not worry about you doesn't say VIP. That's a deep cut. That's hilarious. If you know that, you know that one. Um, but yeah, fashion is such a tough space to really break into and make relationships with. So, or make relationships in. So to already have that front row seat at the show and to already be snatched up and be like, VIP, like, come on. Da, 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 da. I was like, oh, it, it's so especially in the fashion world if you are a reality star that doesn't come from a world of like the show being based in fashion it, you get basically looked down upon and i'm a little hesitant to kind of talk about yeah like i was on reality tv and i guess some people call me an influencer and like i'm very very guarded with that because i don't want people thinking that i feel like i deserve access to everything just because i want a tv show um, and so when I talk about how I won the show, I talk about like my reason why I talk about what it meant for people who watch the show. And that's kind of what gets people to bring their walls down. So yeah, I say all of that, which is crazy. I'm in front of a step and repeat at back Lumishka with the designers. And I was like, hello, thank you for having me. It was just <sighs> phenomenal. So from there, I had to very quickly run back to my hotel um and here's a little funny thing so when you leave these shows there are street photographers that are just like waiting for you to leave 
and I didn't really realize that. So while I am in and out, <laughs> like I'm just trying to get to these shows and then I'm leaving and it's it's basically like paparazzi, it kind of feels like it. So I walk out and it's, oh, look this way, look this way. What's your name? Can you give us your Instagram? Let's take a bunch of photos. And they're like very, very friendly and talented photographers. So I can't wait to get those photos and start sharing them because Sometimes they'll be like, okay, well, this is what we got. This is what we got. And I'm just blown away every time. But I spent a little too much time taking photos after the Bagley Mishka show. And so I was rushing back to this room where I met with Casey again. And he touched up my face. And we did this like dramatic kind of silvery look because I don't know, like <laughs> it matches the pants that I'm wearing. So that's a little weird, but it matches the pants. So he wanted to do something like super sexy and fun for this look tonight. And it was a private dinner with Armani, Armani Privé, so the extent of their beauty brand, their beauty line, um, and their fragrances. It was, it was such a unique experience because one, it was a private dinner with Armani. Like I'm at the Armani store on Fifth Avenue and we go up to this, they have a restaurant in their store, which I didn't know. It was this beautiful private dinner of like, massive mega beauty influencers and editors at magazines and I just remember sitting there being like <laughs> it was unreal it was uh, Elaine Walteroth was there um other creators that I I admire so much were there there were smaller creators massive creators significant people with significant influence in this industry um, either like through industry standard or by breaking their own way, paving their own way through creating their own content. And so I'm sitting at the table and I'm getting to know all these amazing people and we're eating the dinner and it was a, like, it was a, a scent experience because they were promoting their fragrances, which I will also say every fragrance of theirs smells like a love potion. My mom loves, like loves their their scents and it truly it does smell like a love potion every single thing so with every course they would spray a fragrance that was paired with the course that we were eating and it was it was really fun and the food was delicious but it's funny because the conversations that you have i mean there were people who like people who are best friends are very close influencers and the seating arrangement they were very specifically separated from each other so that conversations could happen and kind of explore and expand your relationships, your networks, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I'm sitting at this table and people are so kind. I was so nervous going to this event, honestly, because it's a big brand name and I didn't know who'd be there. And I honestly thought that like, I thought I wasn't gonna have the warmest experience, honestly. And it was like, so uplifting, so empowering. Everyone was so kind and so nice. And it really just blew my mind. And it like blew out this expectation that I have of influencers being bad or clout chasery or all these things that you just are nervous about. But what made me laugh really hard was when, you know, people, I think because we're all influencers or whatever you want to call us, everybody is accustomed to asking questions oh like do you want this photo do you want this video pose this way pose that way what type of content do you create like people don't dance around that but <laughs> so you know people asking oh like what type of content do you create what platform are you really on this this and that and then the conversation would get to me and say oh so like what type of content do you create and i was like oh, i was on a tv show over the summer <laughs> and some people knew or were familiar and other people kind of like me didn't really know what Big Brother was. Like, it was it was funny, but whenever people ask like, oh, what content do you create? I would just say like, oh, like I was on a TV show over the summer. And then, you know, like, oh, what show? I was on Big Brother. And some people were like, I used to love Big Brother. I watched it all the time. Or, oh, I've heard of that, but I don't really know how it goes. So I had to explain <laughs> the show. And I think it helps that I wasn't as familiar with, or. It helps that I wasn't a massive fan of the show before a year ago because I can very easily relate to people and be like, girl, I didn't even really know that much about the show until a year ago. So, you know, it's been really interesting talking with 
beauty influencers specifically, because this was a beauty event. This wasn't a fashion event. This was a beauty event that happened during Fashion Week. And it was really interesting talking about, um, when I say politics, I'm not talking like USA American politics. I'm talking about the intricacies of being a black woman and navigating reality TV. Was it like to try to elevate yourself, your brand, your career with this newfound platform that I have? What is it like having been Miss Michigan USA, a literal beauty queen, and then navigating that into a different platform and just seeing the snowball effects of that? So it's really interesting having that full circle of having to start from, well, I was a personal stylist for men, and then I moved back home, and I was going to start my own personal styling company full-fledged, and as I was happening... I won Miss Michigan USA, and then I didn't place a Miss USA, but I won with some geniality, and then I got reached to, reached out to about a reality show, and then I won a reality show and won. I made history. How did you make history? Well, <laughs> every time it's like this long um, spiel, but because I'm now in these spaces where it's beauty, fashion, these are important things I need to break up, bring up because one, it's my experience, and two, I'm not let's be honest guys like i'm not creating content every single day i am not known as a content creator i would like to become a better content creator and that's something i'm committed to doing but it's really interesting being in these rooms because of what i was able to do on big brother and also being able to drive conversation because of my history my life story i think i'm only 28 right but my life story you don't realize when you're on the journey, but as you get further and further down the pipeline, you realize, oh, all of this did happen for a reason. I didn't win Miss USA for a reason. I, you know, I, I lost the Miss Michigan USA pageant the first time for a reason. I won Big Brother for a reason. Like I traded a hundred thousand dollars as Miss USA, a hundred thousand dollars an apartment in a Porsche as Miss USA for being. Um, it's eight hundred thousand dollars and get my own place in a Mustang. Like the opportunities that I've been afforded because of this past summer, and the dedication that I've had to refusing to be boxed in by that experience or just pushing that experience further, uh, without trying to be like hungry for fifteen minutes of fame. I'm very mindful of that. I try to be very mindful of that. It's a really unique and interesting experience. And to have done that while, again, people ask me usually in these spaces, what's your life been like since Big Brother? And it's, I mean, it's been happening ever since I walked the red carpet at the Grammys. And the only answer I have is, while standing on the red carpet at the Grammys, people says, what's your life been like since Big Brother? And I just go, I'm, I'm on the red carpet at the Grammys. What? what? Or at the Super Bowl, what's your life been like since winning your brother? I'm at the Super Bowl. <laughs> or tonight, what's your life been like since winning your brother? I'm at a private dinner with Armani. <laughs> it's awe inspiring, humbling, and I'm still hungry. And I think everybody should be hungry because you, you should never be complacent. Be grateful. Be mindful, be self-aware, but never be complacent. So I'm excited for what's next. And I'm just very, very thankful for the people who have put me in these rooms. I'm thankful for the drive that I've had. Did y'all hear that? I don't know if that was cheering or screaming or maybe both. I'm hoping it was just cheering. I'm choosing to believe that that's positive screaming. And I hope that you all heard that so I don't sound crazy. Um, but like the point of all of this is I'm just, I'm just really grateful for the people I've surrounded myself with. I'm grateful for the people that I've been attracting in my life. And I'm grateful for my own drive. And something that I will never not be thankful for is the people, are the people who continue to put my name in different rooms when I'm not there. And I hope to do that for other people too. So yeah, the um, it's been an amazing week. And I plan to be here a little bit longer because I got some business to get done. 
And I also would like to just spend time with my friends. I have a lot of friends out here in New York that I have not seen in so long or who I've seen like in passing. Just like, hey, I'm in New York. Oh my God, are you in this location? Okay, bye. And, you know, honestly, I think, Griffin, it was so nice being you today, too. You were so lovely. Um, never be afraid to approach me. You all just please do it kindly. <laughs> um, just be gentle and kind when you do it. I'm, I love meeting fans. I love meeting people who love the show. Um, actually, I'll call Joseph back in a second. I do want to say this. There's been, um, I met someone when I was in Phoenix at the Sports Illustrated party. Oh, now I'm having a party. I'm trying to join now. Um, so when I was at the party at Sports Illustrated, I met somebody, just the sweetest girl ever. Um, what was her name? Kelsey. Her name was Kelsey. And why am I not at this party? So, wait, I'm about to wait a minute now. So Kelsey was so excited to meet me. Just like over the moon just froze and like her jaw hit the ground and she was so excited to meet me and we took a photo and she pulled back for a second and she goes you know i gotta be honest early on in the game i really didn't like you and even at the end i wanted the other person to win and i was like you know I don't expect everybody to be infatuated with me or my win or even agree with my win or all these other things, right? But the way that she brought it up was so gentle. Like it was so kind. And it was less of a, I didn't mess with you, I didn't like you and someone else deserved it more than you. It was like, a, she was understanding that I am a human being and a real person. And she was also kind of like, what I saw on TV, she was like, the way that I interpreted the game and what I saw on TV, like, it was very narrow. And the way that I interpreted that and projected onto you, she was like, clearly I didn't get enough of the story. So I was like, oh, well, did you watch the live feed? She goes, no, I'm not a live feeder. I said, yeah, there's a lot that you would understand there. And so it's kind of rare that I get people who are saying, oh, I was rooting for someone else to win over you. Um, usually that conversation will look like you didn't deserve to win. But she just said, you know, I just wanted the other person to win, but that doesn't mean I didn't like you in the end or didn't think that you would do well. Then of course she said, but when you said that speech, oh my God, how could anybody not vote for you? <laughs> But what I really appreciated about that interaction is that she was still a fan of the game and she wasn't rude or disrespectful or mean or unkind to me or about me. And she just said, you know, the first few weeks I got the wrong impression of you. And in the end, like, yeah, I was kind of rooting for somebody else, but yeah, like I'm cool. And so, I don't know, it was just an interesting experience because I don't interact with people who, especially not in person, it's not often that I interact with people who don't like me. Um, and, you know, I think it's been shown over and over. Like, I'm, I'm a pretty likable person. <laughs> Contrary to that early belief, I'm a pretty likable person. So, yeah, I just really appreciated that. And I remember, like, I did a video with her for her parents because her parents have been loving Big Brother for years and she was so cool. Partied for the rest of the night together at the Sports Illustrated party. And I don't know, it's just, we think of fans or enjoying people from a TV show as if it's a binary, as if there are absolutes. And it was really nice to talk to somebody who was open enough, human enough, big-minded enough to not see this in a binary. So Kelsey, 
I just want to thank you for the interaction because I really appreciated it. I thought it was really cool. All right. Let me go call my boy from back. <laughs> I love you all. Have a fabulous night. I don't know how much longer I'll be in New York. Who knows? But I got some things to do and I still have a busy day tomorrow somehow. So stay tuned. I have a lot of content. Someone said, yes, Tasha was at the Armani party as well. So I hung out with her. Um, and a lot of other really cool people. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for like the last of the Super Bowl content that I still have to get up. I'm sorry, ladies, I'm working on it. It's going to be up super soon. And I really want to get that up because I also have some really, really, really awesome fashion week things that I wanted to be pumping out because we got some great photos and videos. All right. Good night. I love you. Stay fabulous. Stay kind and have a good night. I'm going to end this one here and I'll be back. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.